Installing and Climbing with a Tree Lounge Tree Stand, William Hovey Smith, 2013. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and here I'm getting ready for deer hunting by actually using a tree stand and hunting squirrels. I'm Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman, and in front of you, you see a tree lounge tree stand in the woods that I just rolled in on the wheel kit. Now, I have never in my life put one of these things on a tree. Burr! So, uh, we are going to practice doing that before the opening of deer season. It is now about August the 12th. So, this tree stand is going on this tree, and come the 15th or so, I'm going to sit in it and see if I can take some squirrels with a new muzzle-loading squirrel rifle that I built. So first thing is get it all untangled. Well, the tree stands come with a safety belt, or at least the newer models do. And this is the wedge that I was speaking of. It actually goes around the tree and helps level up the stand. It's nothing more than a wedge of uh, hardwood with a hole drilled in it and a bungee cord that you can actually attach and fasten around the tree. All right. This is a thermosil because mosquitoes are very thick out here right now and they would eat me alive if I did not have it on. Uh, a necessity for early season bow hunting and muzzleloading season here in Georgia. Okay, that's too off. I'm thinking that the foot piece should lift out right now. Yeah, it does. Okay. So this is the foot piece. Chomp, chomp. Make it progress. And proceed to take off the wheel kit. Now, the wheel kit can be put on any tree lounge. So you don't necessarily need a wheel kit for every stand you've got. Okay. Wheel kit removed. Three first. Take off the good knobs here. Okay. And these, I suspect, are the extra large. This is the place where you actually put your toes through. So this goes toward the end you want to climb. And you put it around your tree somewhere. On both the foot piece and okay. the top piece, the bars actually go on top of the frame. Yep, that's about as tight as that can get. All right. So now you have your base attached. Okay. Now the top does similarly. It's August the 16th today, and we're now going to be engaged with our first hunt with our tree lounge tree stand, and that's going to be for squirrels. Yep, bushy tails. We've got our newly built squirrel rifle here, the Crockett, and so we're going to use this and see if we can get some today. So need to get all this stuff up the tree. Now what we have is we have first a thermosil. We have here a substitute chill pad that's made out of automobile carpet. On the front we have my accessories bag which contains, well, all sorts of stuff. And we have our hoist for our gun, which we're going to pull up. You do not want to have your gun on that rack when you pull it up. If you do, it puts so much weight on the back of the stand that you can't hardly manage it. 
and you certainly don't want to try to climb down with it. That just aggravates the situation much less. Put a loop here. You can hoist the gun safely. Yep. Okay. That's not going to slip. That one's not going to slip. We've got two or three different pieces of junk on here. But we'll get the gun up. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and climb the tree. And we're going to be about our work. Uh, to climb the tree, uh, first thing is you actually get your feet in it. So one on the outside here. One on the other side. Foot goes under there. Foot goes under there. Now we're standing up. Have our safety straps. Move it around the waist. And reach down and pull up the stand. Okay. All right. So then you take your feet. Pull up. Sit. up again. Okay. You just continue on up your tree. Up it comes. Besides backyard deer hunting, I also have extreme muzzleloading, crossbow hunting, and practical bow fishing available as soft covers and ebooks. I have an eight book ebook series coming out on muzzleloading, including building or restoring your own muzzleloader, which will have material about me hunting with a Crockett rifle. Tips are that the bars go on the tops of the frame. The footpiece straps go in the middle of the footpiece. The wedge is used once you're up the tree to level it, and you want to take as much weight off that stand as possible before descending. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.